Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here again. It's so great to see you back here on our Google Classroom and enjoying those activities and responding to those questions. It's fantastic to see your responses, so thank you so much for doing that. Let's take a chance um, to look at our schedule. As always, we'll start with our good morning song. We'll explain the day's activities. We will have um, our question or challenge of the day. We'll do a story together and then I will send you on your way. Okay, so let's go ahead and sing our good morning song together if you want to sing that with me. Here we go. Very good, so thank you for singing that with me each and every day. So let's um, go ahead and look at some of our optional activities that we have on our week three at home learning packet. We're now on um, today's focus for today's theme is going to be my community. So that's an, a really important theme right now because we have so many people in our community, oops, who are um, helping us and who are helping make sure that we stay safe. So it's important for us to recognize all that they are doing for us too. So thinking of um, our community and the people out in the community who are helping to keep us safe. Um, for reading, what we can do for one of our options for community is we can read um, a story together about um, a community helper that's out there in our community, maybe at a grocery store or at um, a firehouse. One of those great um, helpers who is helping to keep us safe and um, giving us the things that we need. So we're going to go ahead and read a story together um, before we leave this video. For fine motor, one thing you can do is you can use some blocks at home or any other kind of building materials that you may have to create your own type of community. So maybe you can make a, a road and you can have different buildings within um, that road. So thinking of how you can design that. For your art or sensory focus, you if you have um, rocks, you can paint these rocks and make them all decorative and uh, maybe write your name on them. And then you can leave them out in the community for people to find. Maybe if they're on a walk um, in your neighborhood by your house, they can find it and then they can um, take it home. And then maybe it'll inspire them to create one too, which is kind of a nice idea. For letters and sounds, you can use your uppercase and lowercase cards, like such, to um, make pairs, to make matches, and see how many matches you can find. <clears throat> For your math focus, you can go um, on another walk outside and you can find as many numbers and shapes you can on signs or um, just in different areas of your walk and see how many you can find together. And then for your gross motor focus, um, remember that's getting your body moving, up and moving, you can create a hopscotch path maybe put numbers, you can put letters on each um, square, and you can have fun hopping and counting, um, and then maybe even leave it there for somebody else to enjoy it too. So if you make it outside on your driveway, 
then when others walk by too, they can see it and maybe they'll have fun with it too. So that's kind of um, some ideas that you can try at home for today for our community focus. So for my journal today, or I should, I should say my lists, what um, I'll show you quickly what I decided to do. Um, this, these ones don't have any specific orders, so you just kind of pick um, a topic each day. So I decided to do favorite foods, where I listed my favorite foods. So I listed pizza, pasta, and cake. And then I drew a picture of each of um, those items that I enjoyed. So um, think about a couple of maybe different foods that you have, favorite foods, or you can decide to do a different page if you would like. It's up to you, okay? For our challenge or our question of the day is to respond um, on that Google form in our classroom to see which day, or what, sorry, what time works best for our Google Meet meeting when we all get together and we get to see our friends. So if you have not yet responded to that, if you will go on there and tell me which time works best for you, that would be awesome. If you already have responded, I want you to go ahead and start thinking of something to bring to our meeting because we're gonna do kind of like a share day um, time where we're gonna let each friend one at a time share an item maybe that they have at home that's special to them or they can share um, something that they've been doing that's really exciting. Maybe they created a picture and they wanted to share that. It's up to you. So I want you, if you've already responded to that questionnaire form for me, to think about a share item that you wanna bring. So for example, if I brought my teddy bear um, I would start thinking about things that somebody might ask me about him. So what color is he? Where did I get him at? What makes him special to me? So think of a share that you want to share with all of your friends and then start thinking about um, things to say, things to share about that item out loud. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our story. Again, we were talking about community helpers. So I decided to find a book on um, a very important community helper that helps us create buildings and different types of schools and different types of um, places that we need to go to. So these are our construction workers and the title of our story is called Construction Workers Build. So we're gonna see um, just what they do inside of the story and um, kind of some of the supplies and materials they need in order to do their job. Let's read it together. See the construction workers. They dig, dig, dig. Can you see the tools they're using? Yeah, so they have shovels, looks like a scooper, all kinds of different things, right? Wheelbarrow. They climb, climb, climb. They hammer, hammer, hammer. <clears throat> they lift, lift, lift. They measure, measure, measure. They drive, drive, drive. They paint, paint, paint. They build, build, build. They wave, wave, wave. They work together. Dig, climb, hammer, lift, measure, drive, paint, build, wave. Look at what the construction workers made. Can you see what that is? Yep, it says new school. So they were able to work together to build a new school facility, a new um, school building. How awesome. Very good. So thank you friends for joining in with me today and looking at our video. Don't forget to respond to that Google um, questionnaire form to let me know which time works best for you. And if you have already responded to that, start thinking of a share item that you would like to bring to our Google Meet uh, meeting on Friday. I hope you have a great Thursday, and I will see you back here on Friday. Bye.